to at the moment my barely uh, existent subscribers it is I, Nikos Rikos, the Spartan Pipple, the unacclaimed professional wrestling's hamster expert. This is Bear the Hamster. And right now I am unboxing my second hamster mailbox. Uh, so it's December right now, so this is the Christmas box, which I'm super excited about as Bear takes a dive. He's okay. I anticipated that might happen. He's in my lap, and now he's on my arm. So we're gonna open this up. I'm gonna pull him back into frame at some point because he's gonna try to jump off this couch and I have a cat. So, all right, let's see what we got. So this is again, hamster mail. This is my only monthly subscription box I do. I figured I have enough Batman stuff. So, and this one was very cost effective and it's good for me to get treats, toys and whatnot. So let's see what the Christmas box has to offer and see if there's anything I can give Bear right now. Okay. Oh, and there's always a charity of the month, which I find really cool. This is how I found out about it. They uh, send donations of sorts to one charity they pick out every month. So I found out because they gave it to my charity that I support and help do some transports for, the Westchester Rescued Hamster Haven. So this month, let's see. They picked the Hamster Society in Singapore. That's their charity of the month. A non-profit society, it started in 2019. So that's their shout out, is the Hamster Society of Singapore, just showing the uh, awesome reach. Their Instagram account, hamstersociety.sg, or the Hamster Society SG on Facebook. All right, so let's see what we got. Oh, wow. All right, so first off, this is called the Cupid Comet. It's a wood and loofah tree. So I get my picture taken behind me. Natural wood and loofah gnaw. So apparently, I'm not sure how crazy Bear's gonna be about this. He does like some, and right now he's way too distracted. Cara Dune would have been a better, probably show of how good this treat is. There's Bear semi checking it out. Obviously, as you can see, he just wants to run. So, this is pretty cool though. So this just makes, it's a safe chew. So it's just something for their teething because as most people know, or maybe don't know, if hamsters don't trim their teeth, it'll grow basically right into their head and kill them. They can get a severe uh, issues from that. So yeah, this is pretty cool. Ideal for rabbits, guinea pig hamsters, rice, and mice, and gerbil. So yeah, this is cool. This will definitely be good for my psycho Kara because she loves chew toys. Bear, not so much. And then we've got, natural carrot and elderberry trees. So these are little tree treats um, made with pea flakes, carrot, elderberries, seeds, grass. So ideal for any real hamster, dwarf, as I have, I do have one dwarf, Harley right now, um, or Syrians like bear and carrot, all, all different kinds of breeds. So yeah, this is just like another treat that they can also use for their dental, but as well get some something tasting good which Bear's smelling this right now. And then the last one is, oh, this is pretty cool. Very Merry Popcorn. So I've never seen this for hamsters in stores. Uh, complimentary feed for hamsters. So what's in here, first ingredients, it's got protein fiber, and it's all natural. It's got popcorn, dried apple, dried cranberries, and dried coconut. So again, I don't think he'll be a huge fan of it right now because he just wants to get out and run but we'll try and maybe see if he uh, if he'll try one out so bear is more concerned with checking out the actual box but we're gonna see if maybe he'll check out the tree but yeah he's a uh, he's a little overly as you can see he's pushing it away nothing against those who make very merry popcorn I'm assuming they can eat it, so can we. So, that's staying in the video. It's just dried popcorn, cranberries. Looks fine. I'm getting a really weird look from my producer. If, if it tastes good to me, just dry popcorn. It's, it tastes like old dry popcorn, but for them, it's a treat. Just when they're not acting like a psycho, like bear. So, I definitely recommend if you're into hamsters, gerbils, guinea pigs, mice, check out hamster mail. I mean, it was really cheap. I pay 20 bucks a month and it's canceled anytime. And it's highly worth it. You get some treats, some chews that you will not find in stores and they're themed every month. Like this one was the Christmas box. So 
as I'm trying to get this page underway a little more, don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, and uh, tune in next month for the next unboxing. And one more thing that I forgot, Santa's Grotto, a complimentary feed for hamster. So, I don't know, it's in this little coconut. Oh, they can have the whole thing. Because first ingredient is the shell filled with apple leaves, hazelnut leaves, hibiscus flowers, and marigold flowers. So actually this entire thing, which is gonna go in my hamster's play pens, is, uh, is a treat. Wow, this is actually crazy. I've never seen a treat, like literally that big. That's pretty wild, and I'm excited for them to try it out. All right, that's it.